Now in this video, we'll majorly try to understand two different types of addresses, network ID and the broadcast ID. What is exactly network ID and broadcast ID? And then we'll also see what is subnet mask later on in this session. Now, first thing, if you, if you just get back to the basics, what we have learned in the previous sessions, like uh, if you're using any A class example, by default, A class is having one network portion and three host portions. So which means you get 24 bits to the power of uh, 24, it will, you get around 16 million addresses in one network. So even in the C class, in the C class, you get 256 addresses and in the B class, you get 65,536 addresses in one network portion. Now the more number of host portions or the host bits you have, the more number of hosts you can connect in that particular network. But again, whatever the address range we get, whatever the range, we have also seen the range. In that particular range, we cannot use the first address and we cannot use the last address. Now the first address will be referred as a network ID or network address. And the last address will be referred as a broadcast address. Now why we cannot use them? Now the main reason is they are reserved for a specific purpose. Like network ID is reserved for identifying the complete network. It's going to identify the complete network, whereas broadcast ID is representing, uh, is used to send the broadcast within the same network. So let's try to get into more in details on what is network ID. Network ID is the first IP address of the range, which is going to identify the complete network and all zeros in the host portion. Now let's take an example. If I'm using this network, we generally represent as 192.168.1.0 and this address will be identifying the complete network. Now, typically when we when we get into some routing concepts, you need to tell what is the network we are using here. We are not going to tell that we are using 192.168.1.1.2.1.3 like that, but instead we are going to represent the complete network with one address and we need to tell to the other devices that I'm using 192.168.1. network. So the first IP address of the range will be referred as a network address which represents a complete network. And this address we cannot assign to any device in the network. And similar way, we cannot even use the last address of the range and we call it as a broadcast address. Now, when we say broadcast means if you have anything to send to everyone within the network, let's say I want to send some information to all the devices within this network, we just use the last address of the range. Now we call it as a broadcast ID or the broadcast address. If you send to this address, it will be sent to all the devices in the network. Now the first address is reserved for identifying the complete network and the last address is reserved for broadcasting within the network. So these two addresses we cannot assign to any device in the network. Now whatever the addresses in between, those addresses will be referred as valid addresses. So which means the same thing applies for all the classes. Now in the C class, but total there are 256 addresses. In that two addresses we cannot use. Maximum of 254 devices I can connect. Again in the B class we get 65,536 addresses. We cannot use the first and the last, which means we can only use 65,534 addresses. And the same thing applies for A class also. So the first address, network address, and the last address, the broadcast address. Now, in simple way, you know, if, if you just want to uh, remember the network address, you just remember that host bits, if you see all zeros, that is referred as network ID. Like, uh, in a, this is B class address. In the B class, there are two host portions. And if there are two zeros, we represent it as a network ID. And if the host portion is having all ones, typically that will be referred as a broadcast address. All ones means there are two host portions. In terms of binary, if you write all ones, it's nothing but 255 in terms of decimal. 255. That's a broadcast ID. So even if you want, we can go to the network places here. And I'll try to assign the IP address here. I'll go to my local area connection properties. And I'll go to TCP IP V4 properties. And we'll try to assign some address. 192.168.1.0. We'll talk about subnet mask in the next slide. You can see whenever you try to give the network address, the device do not accept and it says the combination of the IP address and the subnet mask is invalid and it is set to zeros. 
so why because host bits if you have zeros we cannot use them in the as a network id because all zeros in the host portion now similar way if you try to assign the broadcast id 255 if i click ok it says the combination of the ip address and the subnet mask is invalid because all the host portions of the ip address are set to one because it is a broadcast ID. Now, whenever you see this kind of messages, it means either you are trying to assign the network ID or the broadcast ID. And these two addresses, we cannot use them in any network. Any device, you cannot, you cannot assign these services. Now, whatever the remaining addresses coming in between, all are referred as valid IP addresses. So let's take an example here. If I, if I try to write one address, I'm going to write 150.12.10.10. If the question asks you what is the network ID for this, so the first thing we need to identify the class. It's a B class address, 150 comes in the range of B class and there are two network portions and two host portions. Now, if you want to figure out the network ID, we need to just write two zeros in the host portion. If you write 255, 255 in the host portion, it will be the broadcast ID. So the network ID will be 150.12.0.0 and the network ID will be 150.12.255.255. So these are the two addresses which we cannot assign to any device. Remaining all the addresses we can assign to any device in the network. Now the next thing we'll talk about subnet mask. Now subnet mask is going to differentiate the network portion and the host portion. Now every device, whenever we assign any IP address, let's say I'm going to assign the IP address 192.168.1.10 you must write the subnet mask. Now typically it will be in 255, 255, 255 format. Now what exactly subnet mask will do is, subnet mask tells what is the network portion and what is the host portion. And wherever there is one that is network and wherever there is zero that is host. So which means if I write the subnet mask of 255, 255, 255 as zero, in terms of binary it is ones and wherever there is one, that is network and wherever there is zero that is host. So indirectly it is representing the network portion and the host portions and wherever there is zero that is host portion. Like here you can see there are two host portion, two zeros. One host portion, one zero. So it's another way of uh, defining how many network portions and how many host portions. In general we memorize these options but the subnet mask is going to tell what is the size of the network and how many host bits you have and how many network bits we have in the entire IP, IPv4 address. Now, apart from that, there are some other addresses which are reserved. Uh, let, let me give some more example on subnet mask before we go ahead. If I try to assign some address here, let's say I'm going to give 210.1.1.1. If I press tab button, automatically it is going to take the subnet mask because the Microsoft operating system is a program in such a way that it will identify the class and then the class is having three network and one host and it will take the default subnet mask and if I try to remove the subnet mask and if I click OK the device will not accept and it simply says that you have entered an address that is missing the subnet mask so please add the subnet mask so every device Whenever you assign the IP address, it is really mandatory for you to tell the subnet mask and based on the subnet mask, the device will understand how many network portions and how many host portions.